Previously, I did make a video answering the question of which is faster, painting your thousand suns blue first, then doing the gold trim after, or painting them gold first, then filling in the blue panels. However, I performed this test using Scarab Occult Terminators, and there are a significant number of people who believe that the results will be different if I repeat this experiment with Rubric Marines instead. So today, I have two Rubric Marines that have been assembled and primed grey, and we are going to find out which is faster, painting gold first, then filling in all the blue panels, or painting blue first, then doing all the gold trim after. I will not be counting time spent mixing paints, waiting for paints to dry, or the time I spend holding the paints up to the camera so you can see. And I even have a proper stopwatch this time around. So let's start with the gold first method. And let's start the clock. Now let's coat the entire model in Retributor armor. Now I am aware that you can skip this step by priming your models with the Retributor armor spray. And I promise I will address this later. Great, so that step took us 4 minutes and 11 seconds. Now we take the blue and fill in all the armor panels. Now personally, I find this step to be extremely troublesome, because while I'm painting the blue, I need to attempt to avoid the sides of my brush touching any of the gold trim. And because I'm not a perfect painter, I make a ton of mistakes while doing this step, as I'm sure a lot of you do as well. And after all that, we are sitting at 19 minutes and 47 seconds. Now we grab the white and paint the loincloth. Do note that the loincloth also has gold trim, so I need to use a small brush and take extra care when painting the white. Time check, 20 minutes and 33 seconds. Now we grab the yellow and paint all the stripes in the headdress and the shoulder pads. The headdress and the shoulder pads also have gold trim, so I need to try and avoid the gold trim while painting this step as well. Time check, 23 minutes and 12 seconds. Now we take the black and paint the bolter. And guess what? The bolter also has gold trim, so I need to take care to avoid that as well. Time check, 25 minutes and 21 seconds. Now we grab a bright green and fill in the eyes and any jewels and amulets on the model. Didn't take too long, 26 minutes and 37 seconds. Great, we've actually gotten all the basic colors on the model. But you can see that despite my best attempts to avoid touching the gold, I've made a ton of mistakes. So we're gonna need to grab our gold paint and fix all our mistakes. And don't you know it, there are a ton of mistakes because as I've said before, painting recessed details while trying to avoid details that are higher, such as the gold trim, is incredibly difficult. So it is of no surprise to me at all that after this step we are sitting at 42 minutes and 11 seconds. And finally we grab the noun oil and spread it all over the model. And with a final time of 44 minutes and 3 seconds we are done with painting the gold first method. Great, now let's try the blue first method. So let's start our stopwatch and we're gonna coat the entire model in Thousand Suns blue. Time check, 4 minutes and 6 seconds. Now we grab Grab the white and paint the loincloth. You'll notice that since there's no gold trim for me to avoid in this method, I can use a much bigger brush and be much less precise with this step. Time check. 4 minutes 40 seconds. Now we grab the black and paint the bolter. And just like with the previous step, we can use a big old brush because again there's no gold trim for us to avoid. Great, we are at 5 minutes and 32 seconds. Now we grab the yellow and do all the stripes in the headdress and the shoulder pads. Again, not having to avoid gold trim for this step makes it slightly faster. So we're sitting at 7 minutes and 15 seconds. Now we grab the green and do all the eyes as well as any of the amulets and symbols on the model. 8 minutes and 20 seconds. And now we do the dreaded gold trim. So when I'm doing this, I just turn my brush a little to the side and use a very light stroke. This allows me to catch the gold trim quickly and efficiently. And if my brush happens to stray a bit left or right, I don't have to worry about the sides touching any blue, because the blue is lower than the gold. And after completing this, we are at a total time of 22 minutes and 34 seconds. But again, because I'm quite a mediocre painter, I still made a few mistakes. So we're gonna grab the blue and clean up all the mistakes I made. But there were far fewer mistakes than the gold first method, so I managed to finish this step at a total time of 26 minutes and 42 seconds. Now finally, we get the noun oil and slap it all over the model. And that brings us to a total time of 28 minutes and 34 seconds. So let's talk about the timings in a little more depth. So obviously in this test, the blue first method was 
much, much faster. But as mentioned before, if in the gold first method, you choose to prime your model with Retributor armor, you can eliminate the gold base coat step. That would bring the gold first timing down to 39 minutes and 52 seconds. I'm also sure that some of you are going to point out that I did the white black and yellow steps much faster in the blue first method as compared to the gold first method. Please note that this is not a mistake or some kind of fluke. As I said in the video, in the gold first method, when you paint these three steps, you have to use a smaller brush and be more precise because you're trying to avoid the gold trim. In the blue first method, however, there is no gold trim to avoid yet, so you can afford to use a bigger brush for the white and black steps, and for all three steps, you don't have to be as precise. Which is why the time timings for these three steps for the blue first method are all much faster than for the gold first method. Now finally, I will point out that I am more practiced at doing the blue first method than the gold first method. If I chose to practice the gold first method more, it is possible that my cleanup time will be reduced. And you'll see that if I practice enough to get to a point where the cleanup time for the gold first method is the same as the cleanup time for the blue first method, and assuming I spend more money to buy the Retributor armor spray, the total time for the gold first method will become 28 minutes and 26 seconds. That's right, a full 8 seconds faster, what speed! But I'm gonna be honest, I just can't see myself getting good enough at the gold first method to make as few mistakes as the blue first method. And so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be spending a ton of time cleaning up my mistakes with the gold first method. So I feel secure enough to say that the blue first method is definitely faster for me. Again, if you'd like to paint the gold first method, I'm not stopping you, you can paint however you like. But just stop telling me that the gold first method is faster. Now finally, a Reddit user named Prodigal Sons left this very condescending comment on my previous video post. So I promised that I would screenshot their comment and put it at the end of this video to either accept that they were right or to flame them. So to Prodigal Sons, I would like to say, firstly, you are wrong. And secondly, you are a fool, barely deserving of the term intelligent life. You are like algae floating in a fetid pond, clinging to life as the ducks land in the water and devour your being. May all the bad things of this world happen to you and you alone. You have the mind of a sea cucumber, fit only for thoughts of scavenging the seafloor, searching for scraps that the fish of the ocean pityingly throw to you. May your cities burn and your house plants be devoured by locusts. The very ground weeps as you walk upon it, as it understands what a thoughtless, empty being it is forced to carry. I long to hear the lamentations of your children as they discover what an imbecile their progenitor is. You are like wind blowing through the cracks of a sewer, bringing the s-